In this lesson, we will learn how to import 3JS into a web page. Three JS official documentation introduces two ways. The first is to install using the build tool. The second is to use a link from the CDN. Let's start with a simpler way, using a CDN link. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. Simply put, it is a service where files are uploaded to a server and can be used by anyone who needs them. It is very convenient as you can use it right away as long as you know the address of the file you need. Using a CDN can also save you money on web hosting costs because you are using files from a different server. Additionally, imported content is cached so you can access it quickly. Now let's try CDN. I've prepared source code that you can test right away. Download the file for this lesson. When you unzip the downloaded file, there are folders number one and number two. Now let's check the contents of folder number one. Please drag and drop folder number one into VS Code. Folder number one is set as the project folder. First, let's open the web page. Let's run the live server, which is the plugin we installed in the first lesson. The web page we will be looking at is index.html, so open index.html in VS Code and right click. If you click open with live server, the live server will run. OK, the sample page opens successfully. You can look at it from various angles by dragging the mouse and turning the wheel. Now, let's edit main.js a little bit. Since we haven't learned 3.js yet, you obviously don't need to understand any of this. I'll just do some simple editing. If you comment out this part, the view has changed, right? Even if you don't refresh, the screen is automatically updated when you save the edited code, which is very convenient. I will undo the edited content. Let's check the contents of index.html. There is a CSS file named main CSS connected, which we will check later. The main.js script is connected as a module type. Main.js is the core code that contains the contents of our 3.js application. If you look at the first line of main.js, the 3.js library is imported simply as 3 without a specific path. The reason why main.js can easily find 3.js with a simple path called 3 is because this part was added. If you delete this, The 3JS module cannot be found, so an error like this occurs. Here, the script with type import map specifies the name of the path and uses it. Since we specified 3, just entering 3 points to this 3JS core file. Examples, JSM is a path to a collection of frequently used 3JS add-on modules. In the 3JS documentation, this part is named add-ons. We use it too. Now, in this lesson, we learned how to import 3JS into a web page using CDN. Next time, we will learn how to install and use 3JS using the build tool. See you next time. This lesson is the basic part of build a first person view 3D website with 3JS. If you're interested in the full course, check out the link in the video description. And don't worry, you can still learn the basics of 3JS by watching this YouTube playlist without watching the full course.